Palio Cassio can be, that you want the jungler kind of in your back pocket. Braum really empowers 3v3 when the junglers get involved because of the Winter's Bite, as well as the Aatrox into the Renekton matchup. I feel like Lissandra's cool because she's gonna get priority anyway. You can leave Nemesis on an island. He's gonna be super safe with that champion. But Broxa has to make sure he's constantly on point. Is Whipple overextended? Do I need to cover him? Or do I need to empower him? Waiting in this tribush now on the blue side. Ken come in behind Hansam and Gorilla. Dun -dun. He has the Winter's Bite. Justice Punch comes up. Defensive flash from Hunt Summer. Very, very good taunt timing. Provide from that Gorilla. support against the Sejuani, who can be surprisingly strong in these duels. Um, having that pressure is very, very bad. Ooh, Bwepo manages to connect a full combo onto Soaz. Flash is available for Soaz. He's down to 100 HP. Slice and Dice is not available just yet. One more hit for Bwepo is all that's going to be needed. First blood. Solo kill. Bwepo onto Soaz. And this was a huge mistake from Soaz, but a big play from Bwepo as we see more fighting in the bot lane. Right, Winter Ball comes out, that's a defensive flash away. Hunt Summer's running down, Reckless realizes he's gonna get stunned up by the Braum passive. 200 hit points and no flash on Hunt Summer. He's running for his life, down to 100. Reckless can't yet get in range. Once again, very good oh. timing on the taunt. Reckless is low, Gorilla turns it around. Now all of a sudden, Hilly's trying to hunt for a little bit more as Nemesis that's completes six. the teleport, flashes under the tower. Miasma will buy some time, but he will be able to escape with his life. No flash or teleport, he has to play a little more defensively. So you should keep your eyes on him. Favorite is which lane he looks to roam towards as Soas is now in trouble once again. All right, Soas has thrown down the Dominus. Remember, he's got no flash available. Gets caught up by Broxa. We'll try to get some damage done, but with Umbral Blades getting it to pull him back, that's just that two. puts him second highest out of all players in the league. Only behind Vizichachi at 19. While well, I'm rambling on about stats, Fnatic are making a plan to hunt summon Gorilla, but Maxlaw is in range to counter. Goes in with an Insta Cataclysm, Flag and Drags to safety. Reckless will get a full cool channel culling onto Maxlaw. Yes, a little bit of innovation from Whipper. I think a lot of it is just have that extra bit of tankiness, um, but also get that cooldown reduction as we see a bit of a play towards me. Okay, Flashing Cleanse is available for Febivin. That's the cleanse already used. Caught up, flashes away, gets locked down. Here comes the Galio ultimate, and Febivin stays alive. A few seconds longer! He manages to walk away! Gorilla and so has arrived just in time. Defensive flash from Soaz and Misfits come to save the day. And the onslaught in the mid lane. Let's just reset and look again for another opportunity. And it looks like it's top. All right, there's an opportunity. Soaz is going to get some help. There's a teleport being channeled by Nemesis, but I think Whippo may just be dead before it can arrive. Feverman's actually piecing out. Turns back around. Rune Prism buys some time as he's locked in place. Now the first kill will be in World Ender, so They're gonna win this. will come back to fight. Nemesis is running away with the Claw of Doom. Whippo kills Soaz. Now Feverman can't find the damage yet. The overload is not going to find the kill. And with no flash to chase. The game. They want to say, take the 100% certain plays. So what we'll see here is an immediate response from Nemesis. Love the teleport that comes through. And Whippo just using his ultimate to buy time. He actually positions in a way, getting in front of the minions too, to make it harder for Vevin to land his skill shots. He's the one that still gets CC'd up for Soaz. For the majority of this is actually in a 1v2. But then Febivan, he can't get close enough to find the kill onto uh, Nemesis. Unfortunately, Soaz has no mobility skills left to get oh. away from Whippo, and ultimately they come out ahead in the two versus two, and nothing but frustration falls onto the face of Soaz. of this mid game because they do have that power in the side lane. Well, continue to scale up in the items and set Unless up they just for the fight. Picked. There's Maxlaw decides to pick a fight on Broxa. Cataclysm thrown down, but for what reason, Maxlaw? Simply no reply. Fibivin gets knocked up into the air by the Glacial Fissure. This will cause both teleports to be used. Flashes forward for Fnatic. The culling is used. Fibivin is down. He had flash available. He didn't get to use it. Now Soez is running for his life. He's stunned up, locked down, caught out. And Soez will try to get some damage. Oh, but it's the rest of Misfits. But this is the pivotal point. Can Maxlaw redeem and can he steal away this objective. I don't know if he gets a chance. Oh man, Hunt Summer doesn't even get a chance to use the petrifying gaze. Maxwell's still alive with flash and smite, but he simply cannot get close enough to the pit. This should be a Fnatic objective. And you know, coming into this match, I was like, Misfits are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Fnatic. They're actually hanging in here, and a lot of us are saying Fnatic are actually top three right now. Uh, oh, now man. So oh, man. Oh, man. This is your fault, Frosker, and cast a curse is a thing. You just stopped talking about Soaz. He was 0-4-0. Now he will be 0-5-0. We'll get run down and kill secured by Reckless. His first... Rise. 
say, as a champion, I just feel like the heat doesn't maximize or utilize that. I mean, well, let's anyway. see if Everbin can make it work now because there goes Whippo pushing all the way forward. Max Lord decides to start the fight, pose the Cataclysm down, flag and drags to safety, and Whippo, his ultimate has been popped. The passive is now bringing it back to life. But look at the damage dealers. That's already killed to Gorilla. Hansan is still untouched. He's trying to put the damage onto the front line. That's a zone away. Everbin is already going to pick himself one up to Nemesis. Nemesis. Yep, even with the Spear of Sojin, which is a great item on the Renekton, he can't approach him. Um, and all we can do is reinforce that this was a skill matchup that they picked into. They haven't played around it. And Broxa. even Brox is solo killing him. Brox is going to win this fight. Sending a message. Very cheeky play from Soed. Steps forwards to get both the slice and the dice. Reckless is coming. Kills the little toy once more. But Here we go. all the rest of Misfits. This is a desperation bound. Yep. If Misfits do not get this bound, they will lose this game. There's the uncle chains going in. Misfits turn the attention. The turn and burn. They get down Nemesis. But Whippo is running him up. One versus four. World End is going to buy so much time. Here comes Gorilla with the ultimate to buy an additional time for Misfits. Now it's still a 4v4 and Misfits are running for their lives. Flat from Hillisang! Miasma from Hans Sama will buy some time as Brox and Fnatic are looking to seal the deal and finish the game. Gorilla buys a taunt just to get Misfits to safety. But Fnatic are not done yet. They continue to chase the pin. Hans Sama's got no flash available. Baron is going to be contested once again. 9,000 gold Risky lead. From Nemesis has teleport available. He can TP in behind Misfits. So as we'll spot it out. The little toy that could. Maxwell flags and drags to safety. Well, there's the fight. So as and Nemesis trading toad for toe. Ruthless Predator all by time. It interrupts the claw. So as is trying to get some revenge. But Fnatic secure the Baron. This has to be what seals the deal. With Baron, another kill on the board. Misfits. We said it at the beginning. There are a few chances left. Playoffs. A spot is on the horizon, and Fnatic go for the fight. Oh, Fnatic going for the dive! They've got on Summer! They killed him under his tower! Reckless is unstoppable at 5, 1 and 5! Whippo gets lucky kill number 7, and this might just be the final push. Fnatic have deconstructed Misfits, and they're on the Nexus. Their foot is on Misfits' throat. There are no more second chances, and Misfits so as 0-9 on the day as Fnatic stored the Nexus. Fnatic truly are back in the fight for playoffs and the finals. Look of disbelief on Reckless's face as Soaz goes 0-9 in that matchup. But so much attention was put on to shutting him down. Whippo demonstrating how much he has grown throughout, the seri uh, throughout this split. And he got the better of Soaz today. Fnatic are on a five game winning streak. They are undoubtedly and unquestionably the best performing team in the second half of the split. But I think it's crucial to remember when Soaz played Whippo the first time, he ended 5 0 6. Yep. When Whippo played Soaz this time, he ended 7 0 7. Take the script and throw it out. This is no longer a league that is dominated by G2. We now have G2, Vitality. <laughs> Origin and now Fnatic. This is a crash course of a commercial that you couldn't script better as we rocket towards the playoffs in Rotterdam. Yep. The league is so competitive right now here in Europe. Everyone is beating everyone, but at the end of the day, it is Fnatic. Fnatic win. Fnatic come out on top. I mean, it feels that way. And just to again remind everybody, with that win, Fnatic are now eight wins, seven losses. They are behind four teams in the standings, so solidly in fifth place alone in fifth place after at one point at the beginning of the season being ninth. Now, in sixth place, there's a three-way tie. Schalke, SK...